Hey guys, this is Justin with Rocky Mountain, and this is our 2017 YZ 450FX bike build. All right guys, so in the first video I did on this 450FX, I took this bike totally stock and gave it a good test ride, um, put some miles on it, and I found that this is an awesome off-road bike. But there's a few things I wanted to do to it to make it more worthy for off-road racing. So those are the things I wanna show you in this video, in this bike build, is some of the must-have things to make it ready to race and some of the nice-to-have things. So to start off with the must-haves, I want to talk about fuel capacity. The stock tank on the FX only holds two gallons. And if you're doing, you know, long distance races, you're going to want to hold a little more gas than that. So we put on an IMS three gallon fuel tank. The next thing I put on this bike is a GPR V4 steering stabilizer. In my opinion, this is a must-have, especially in the high speed desert. I just feel a lot safer, more comfortable. Um, when the bike is in control with the stabilizer. So that's the second thing I put on. Next, I put on Cycra handguards. Um, Cycra is one of the best names in handguards. These things are tough. They're full coverage, wraparound guards. The shield is nice and big. You have a lot of protection with these handguards. Along with the handguards, I've thrown on a different set of handlebars that you know suit my riding style a little bit better and some different grips that I find a little more comfortable. The next thing I put on the bike is a better skid plate. Now the FX comes stock with a plastic skid plate and it's not bad, but I wanted better protection. So I threw on the Enduro Engineering aluminum skid plate. The thing is built really tough and I know I'm not gonna have any problems going through rocks with this skid plate. A really important thing you need to have if you're going to race desert, especially here in the West, is a spark arrestor. So we've thrown on an FMF power core for spark arrestor. Surprisingly, just like KTM and the others, they, these off-road bikes don't come with spark arresters, so that's a must-have. And finally, in my opinion, the last must-have item that I've done to this bike is I've had the suspension revalved and resprung for my weight and my riding style from Precision Concepts. Um, stock, this bike has awesome suspension, uh, maybe one of the best suspensions, you know, for a stock bike, but it, it's too stiff for me so I've had precision concepts set it up better for my riding style and the bike works great. Now going to the nice to haves I put in a Recluse EXP 3.0 auto clutch. Now these are really nice when you get tired during a race you start getting lazier but they're also really nice when you're in really tight technical stuff. I like having the auto clutch. The rest of the time I hardly notice it's there when I'm moving quick, but it is a really nice to have. And on top of the clutch, I have a nice tusk billet clutch cover. It's hard anodized, so it stays looking good. The next thing I put on the bike was tusk impact wheels. Now these wheels look really good. They're not necessarily a must have, but if I was converting a motocross bike into a desert racing bike, I would want an 18 inch rear wheel. So that may be a good reason to you know, upgrade to the impact wheels. On my wheels, I'm running Dunlop AT81 tires. They seem to work good in all conditions. And I'm running Bridgestone ultra heavy duty tubes. They are the tough, toughest tubes that I've found. And if you're not gonna run a bib moose, they're the next best thing for off-road racing. Now the IMS tank offers a lot of protection to my radiators, but to protect the front from sticks and roost, I put on some Bulletproof Designs radiator guards. They're, they're pretty tough guards. Um, I've also put on a higher pressure radiator cap with a temperature gauge. It's kind of handy to know what temperature you're running. And for the really tight technical stuff that I do once in a while, I put on a GYTR radiator fan. Uh, with that thing on, you, it's almost impossible to overheat these things. Because you're going through so many rocks and ruts when you're off-road riding, I like to put on a TM 
designs chain guide and slider kit. The chain guide's awesome. Um, you know, you can hit rocks and things and it's not gonna break. And more importantly, it's not gonna bend on you like the stock aluminum house chain guide. That's pretty much the main and most important things I've done to the bike. Um, lastly, you know, I put on some bling and the graphics kit just to personalize the bike. All right, that's it for our 2017 YZ450 FX bike build. Uh, fantastic bike, even better with a few accessories and mods. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more bike builds, how-tos, and product spotlights. Thanks for watching.